We've just used the lens mirror equation for the first lens. The logical thing now is to use the lens mirror equation for the second lens. So what should we plug in for F? Okay, that's very good. We should always put in a sign. How do we know this is positive? Because it's a conversion lens. Yeah, because they told us. So that's good to put in. Okay. Um, and um, now, how about the object distance? That would be 10 centimeters. Not 30. That would have been a tempting thing for a mistake that people make. Because after all, the image from the first lens was 30 centimeters away, but it was 30 centimeters away from the first lens. So let's go through what each of these variables represents. Uh, what, what does this S here represent? Uh, the distance between the object and the lens. Which lens? The okay. second lens, because now we're doing the second lens equation. So, um, and what does this S prime represent? The image between the first lens, the distance between the image and the first lens. Yeah, okay. So it's important to label if you're doing the lens mirror equation more than once, what each of them refers to. I don't remember if we've even done any multiple um, lens equations yet. I guess we did glasses and contact yeah, lenses, though. So we had to talk about the idea the object from the first lens is the image for the second. I just got it completely reversed. The image for the first lens is the object for the second lens. Yeah, the image from the first lens becomes yeah. the object for the second lens. So this is the image from lens one. Here's the image from lens one. We know it's 30 centimeters away from lens one. But we know that we're going to treat this as the object for lens two. That's just how multiple lens systems work. This is the object here for lens two. All right, now there's a complication. All this time, I've been always harping about how important it is to always put in the sign for the focal length and the image distance. But I didn't worry about the sign on the object distance. I just said, for a simple problem, the object distance is always positive. Uh, but now this is not simple anymore. This is multiple lenses. For multiple lenses, the object distance could be positive or negative. For multiple lenses, the object distance can be positive or negative. Um, you can kind of take a guess. Which do you think it's going to be here, positive or negative? Because mm -hmm. this is kind of a weird place for an object to be, right? W which side is the incoming light on here? The incoming light is from the left. Because after all, it's coming from the original object. This is the object for the first lens. The incoming light always comes in from the object for the first lens. The light must have been coming in this direction. I'm not going to show it bending. I'm just going to show the light coming in. Here's the light coming in. Well, it doesn't seem positive. It seems really weird that the object here could be, uh, you would normally think that the lens comes in from the object towards the lens. So you don't, so uh, it seems really weird that the object is on the side of the outgoing light and not the ingoing light. So it kind of seems natural this should be negative. The best way to think about that, though, is if you remember, um, what's the definition of uh, a real image? A real image is when you have the image on the same side of the outgoing rays. Yeah, and then that would be positive. Yeah. The real image is an image, a positive image is on the same side as the outgoing light. And what was the definition of virtual? If the image is on the opposite side of the outgoing light. And that would be negative. Well, we can adapt that for an object. A real object is on the same side as the incoming light. A real object is on the same side as the incoming light. And, well, I, I shouldn't say real. I should say, um, when the object is on the same side as the incoming light, I'll write that down. Object on same side as incoming light, S is positive. And when the object is on the opposite side to the incoming light, the object distance, again we're using S for the object distance, the object distance would be negative. Okay, so this kind of uh, is parallel to, for again, real and virtual images. It's the set, uh, real images have positive distances when they're on the same side as the outgoing light. An image you should compare to the outgoing light. You would expect an image to be where the outgoing light is, so that's the positive case. But you would expect an object to be where the incoming light is, so that's the positive case. Um, when the image is opposite to the outgoing light, that's real, so that's the negative case. And when the object is opposite to the incoming light, that's 
That's weird. So that's the negative case too. Now, the only time you can ever get this is multiple lenses. Right. This only can ever possibly come up with multiple lenses. You don't even have to bother thinking about this unless there's more than one lens. Because if there's only one lens, then the light has to be coming in from the object. The only way you can ever get an object that's on the same uh, opposite of the incoming light is with this weird multiple lens situation. But when you have multiple lenses, you always have to worry about this. So now maybe we should start putting in signs in front of the object distance too, because that's something that we could easily forget about as well. So for lens two, which side is the incoming light on? The left. And which side is the object on? The right. So it's definitely on the opposite side to the incoming light. So what's the object distance? Okay, and that's one of the main things they're testing in this problem, whether people can put in this correct sign in this problem. Okay, now we should be in good shape to continue. Now remember, the math is supposed to tell us that. The math tells us that, okay. So what did the math tell us? That it's positive. So it's positive. Okay. Remember, we're not trying to use our chart here anymore. Remember, the chart is just a crutch anyway. Right. Even if you've never heard of the chart, you can always get the right sign from the math. The chart is just a check on the math. Um, if, you put, if you put in the right signs, then the math will give you out the right signs. The chart is just a check. And we're not going to bother using the chart for multiple lens systems. So then we've got to get all the signs right here. So that does come out to be positive. So it's good that you're thinking about that. Um, because it just came out positive mathematically. So um, what is the answer to part A? So then that means that say that you could say that the image is 41.6 centimeters 41.7 centimeters from the original object uh, it would probably be easier to say that the object is 6.7 centimeters away saying. from the second lens okay. they didn't say that we have to again there's no axis here so we okay. can just report the distances and however is most convenient for us um, so we can uh, whatever whatever we do the important thing is we say the distance from where we can't just say that it's at 6.7 centimeters. We have to say it's 6.7 centimeters. And this is from the second lens because it came from the second lens equation. The answer you gave is perfectly fine, but this is a little bit sim simpler. OK. Oh, before I forget, you avoided a common trap. A lot of people would have thought that the answer was 3 20ths. A lot of people forget this reciprocal here. So you always want to keep writing the whole equation so you don't forget this is 1 over s prime. So that's a, a good trap to have avoided. OK, so that was our answer to part A. And I think we've got plenty of explanation here. We've explained what's happened. OK. Oh, but one thing you might do is maybe he wants things like explaining how you knew this was negative 10. So that's where it's okay. useful to say, I know it's negative 10 because the object is on the opposite side of the incoming light. Right. Okay. That's what you have to explain where you're getting the things to right. put into the equation. And also the picture um, is part of your explanation there uh, as well. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, you were saying part B? Oh, yeah. So image inverted or upright, virtual or real. So to figure out if it's inverted or upright, that's when we look at magnification. Right. So that would be equal to negative s prime over s. Good. So we know that s prime is 
seven, so it would be negative six point seven. One second, let me think about this. Um, oh wait, but that's from the final second one. Okay. Yeah, because this is the final image inverted or upgrade. Right? Okay, so I think we're in uh, good shape here. So what what were you plugging in here then? I was going to put negative six point seven. Okay, let's go ahead and work through that. Yeah, so we're actually, this is not that easy. Let me take you through this. 